Okay, I feel like a snack. Cause... Oh, that's good. Video update. It's. Uh... That sangria thing really messed me up. Hey, it's Tom. Today, everything I eat is gonna have tons of wine in it. The aim of today is to make everything I eat sort of wine flavored. I'm gonna have a glass of wine with each dish because what's better than wine with food? I do like wine, but I don't drink a lot of it. Um, I'll have it every now and then, um, but I couldn't tell you the difference between the different reds and the different whites. Last night I went shopping for my groceries and after this I'm gonna head out to the bottle shop to get a bunch of wines. My Turkish shop wanna go expensive or cheap. I'm feeling like cheap's the way to go just because it's cooking wine for the most part. I'm gonna check out some bargain bins. I saw them much earlier at the entrance. So I'm gonna see if they have anything good. Okay, this is the Shiraz that I was looking for. It's actually one of the only ones I could find that had like coffee, because I wanted something coffee wine related for breakfast. The first meal I'm having today is breakfast, which, oh, that's obvious. So I'm starting off the day with a Shiraz. I'm gonna boil some eggs, soak them in some Shiraz, then cook up some fried onions. All right, we're back in the kitchen. Put the fry pan heating up. I'm cooking some onion with wine. The onions are smelling super syrupy and sweet and whiny. I'm feeling like this is gonna be a pretty sweet dish. Is, is wine sweet? I don't know. Okay, breakfast is looking completely mental. Uh, the eggs are literally just like red. They look like a liver or like, like a heart. I was thinking about drinking the wine that was soaking in the eggs, but that wine is like what got lit, like heaps of bits and pieces in it and it like doesn't look that appealing anymore. These look really good and smell. Quite a sophisticated um, taste to these. It tastes like wine onions, I'm, on, I'm gonna be honest with you. It smells like Shiraz and coffee beans. You gotta, you gotta do this to get the smell I think. Um, all right, let's go. Like a very light coffee tone tangs. These eggs look so crazy. It's not really soaked through so much. It's it's sort of just on the outside. Nah, there's not there's not much Shiraz flavor to that. I think you might have to do this for like twenty hours. I want to say that's my favorite wine. Onions are really good, but I'm gonna prepare the snack now. But this snack requires a bit of time factor. So the snack I'm doing today is uh, just like a sort of like fruit salad soaked in Moscato. This is gonna become pretty clear pretty quickly, but I'm actually not the greatest when it comes to cutting pineapple and watermelon. So we've got the Moscato. We are gonna pour that into our beautiful bowl of fruit here. Okay. Should I put it all in? I may as well. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and come back when I feel like a snack. All right, welcome back. We're, it's approaching lunchtime. Time to get some food cooking in our bellies. So for lunch, I'm making a giant beef sausage roll with cab set. I've got carrot, onion, ginger, my mince of course, parsley, eggs, breadcrumbs, tomato sauce. The next step, I've got to mix it together to create my sort of filling. And then we just chuck it in the oven. Simple as sausage roll. So first things first. So that's about 750 grams. So just gonna chuck that in. We got breadcrumbs. This is gonna be super important in soaking up the wine because the wine's gonna make it a bit wet. We are serving a Macarthur Park Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon. So Ryan said half a cup. I reckon we go three quarters. Fuck it because we want to make it wine-like. And stir it well. I'm gonna add a cheeky dash of cab sab just because 
It's always nice to just add another dash. We are getting a quite strong smell of lime coming from it. Okay, so you put the mince on one side, squish it all together, then you fold it, put a bit of egg to make it stick together, then squeeze, push down on the middle, so the middle bit's on the bottom. Put some more whisk egg on the top and spread it all over. Then chuck some sesame seeds on top to make it look a little fancy. Then chuck it in the oven at 180 for about 45 minutes. We have the pie cooking. It's looking pretty good actually. A nice fat log. The real test is obviously the fork test. How is that gonna taste? Let's go right in the middle there. It's hot. It's warm inside, yeah, it's quite warm inside. Alrighty. This looks so much better than I was expecting. It actually looks like a proper sausage roll. All right, so I'm on the balcony. There is the sausage roll. Looking, yeah, there's like this sort of wine smell from it. Mmm. That's good. It's really nice. Yeah, it's all right. It's a bit sort of sour or bitter, but it's kind of like a fruity, got a bit of a fruitiness. Okay, I feel like a snack or something. Hey, what, what are you doing here in the fridge? Okay, yeah, now it's snack time and we're gonna try that Moscato fruit salad now. So, get it out. I might just have a sip. Oh, that's good. That's like a fruity white sangria. The watermelon's really gonna suck up a lot of the juice, I reckon, so this can be interesting. Yeah, yeah, that does that does really taste Moscato-y. Yeah, wow, this is excellent. Okay, video update, it's... Uh... About to head off to do a little exercise class or something. Um, feeling like feeling kind of tipsy, that that sangria thing really messed me up the last hour. So yeah, when I get back, I'm gonna get started on dinner. Good afternoon, I have chilled out for a bit and I'm ready to get a feed. We've got the pasta cabanara with white wine. An absolute wine classic. We are dining on a beautiful Pinot Grigio hidden drop. Price over here. And we've got the onion, garlic, bacon, mushrooms, full cream milk, wine, Pinot Grigio, chicken cream, fancy fettuccine, and a whisked egg. I'm gonna chuck on the garlic and onion, then I'm gonna go bacon, mushies, chicken cream. Okay, time for the wine. Normally you would do about half a cup, but I'm gonna go three quarters because I want that extra wine flavor. Well, the wine's in, so we're just bringing that to a boil. So next up, we're just gonna put in the whisk egg, some pepper, some salt, put in the pasta, it'll just mix that all together. It definitely has a smell of wine, which I'm really after, you know, it does look tasty. I'm gonna take it out now, plate it up. Okay, so I've got a pretty big bowl of pasta here. Mm. Really good, really nice. I would say you don't get heaps of wine, you get a bit of wine. Fruity, a bit acidic, like a bit acidic on the aftertaste. One more sip. Delicious. All right. It's been a long day. We started preparing stuff and getting everything ready, you know, sort of eight o'clock. Um, and it's now 9 p.m. and I've sort of just had mini breaks all through the day. Still a little bit hungry. I feel like something sweet after that very sort of delicious bacony pasta. Ryan told me about this recipe. It's super simple. It's gelato, but you only need like one ingredient. We're finishing off today with a rosé. Rosé question mark? Is it a rosé? I would hope you would know that. This is Educated Guess Australia. Yeah, I reckon we'll do maybe a cup 
a cup of this in there. Okay, so here's my frozen bananas. And now we're gonna pour in bananas. Next we're going to strawberries. Now add in half a cup of wine and I'm gonna blend it up. This has turned out way better than I thought. And I've got a few just um, strawberries from the packet. I just heated up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very loose, but it's not bad. I'm just so shocked at how easy this was and how, yeah, just how like real like gelato it looks. Hmm. Wow, okay. A few thoughts already. It's really similar to a, um, to a smoothie or like a thick, you know, a thick sort of smoothie. And the rosé, you can definitely get that rosé in there. This is such a good ending to such a funny day. I, I was I was a little concerned. I knew it was gonna be a big day of cooking. All right, well, let's try this rosé. Huh. To be fair, this was about five bucks. But if there's something else that you would like to see me try cooking with, like, let me know, comment below. I've got a couple ideas, but I'd love to see what everyone else thinks.